To whom much is given, much is expected. Inner Space Force. Y'all, y'all maybe thought they were talking about outer space. Nah, outer space isn't, it's not real. It doesn't exist. That up there, that's water. What's that down there? Water, as above, so below. As within, so without. This right here is the outer space between me and this camera right now. This, they're not talking about outer space, y'all. They're talking about inner space. They're diving deep in there. They're, they're just like the, the gold miners in Alaska. They're digging for gold. They're digging for nuggets. Just like the free divers and the scuba divers. They're diving deep, deep into consciousness. What are you doing? What am I doing? Matt, Jesus Christ, oh, and for y'all who don't know, I'm White Magic Tiger, the undercover hippie evangelist at work right now, um, also known as Brother Timmy, Brother, <laughs> Brother Timmy, Brother Timothy. And um, Jesus Christ, he says in Luke 17, 21, behold, the kingdom of heaven is within you. And then he tells us in Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. He's telling us our number one priority should be to seek the kingdom of heaven that is inside of us, within the inner space. The, and the inner space force should be the 144,000. And um, yeah, that, that's a whole rabbit hole in itself, a beautiful rabbit hole. But uh, there's, my interpretation of it would be that there's probably like 144,000 men and 144,000 women or, or 72,000 men and 72,000 women. Uh, I think I think it might be a literal number. I think they're the superheroes of God, and uh, they're here to clean up, just like just like X Men and uh, like Power Rangers and the Avengers and all those Batman, Robin, Spider Man, all those. And um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk a little bit. I'm gonna walk over towards the beach, and because. Uh, uh, so th th that's my best guess of who the 144 are. And if you also look at the chakra system, the chakras have pedals. And the first five, the Muladhara chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, and Vishuddha, the throat chakra, they have 48 pedals. And then the third eye chakra has two pedals, and it means twice the power. And so you do 48 times two and you get 96. You get 96 right here because it's twice the power of the lower five. And then the 96 here plus the 48 of the first five gets the number 144. And then the seventh is Sahaswara, which is the thousand, thousand, thousand petal lotus flower. And so you do 144 from the first six that are all in the spine, and then the seventh at the top of the head, which is a thousand, one four four times a thousand, you get one hundred and forty four thousand. So I would imagine the one hundred and forty four thousand superheroes for God have a fully activated chakra system, like nadis are open, channels are open, energies open, like they're just tapped into that Christ consciousness. They're one with Jesus Christ, one with Divine Mother, one with Heavenly Father. This is my best guess. I don't really know y'all. I've done a lot of deep research on this, but that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is just like that video I did in Nome, Alaska. And we're gonna pray. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here a little bit, just, just to be a little bit more secluded. And um, yeah. <laughs> So I just did, uh, I just did like a good one hour sit communion, communing with the mother, father, and the king, seeking, diving deep, digging for gold. And uh, so I'm primed and ready for this prayer. Good riddance. <laughs> okay, so you'll see up there, there's like these little white balls. Who knows what that is? Anyways. This is a uh, inner space force. <laughs> no, no better place 
They picked a, they picked a beautiful location. There's probably a lot of mana, a lot of prana, a lot of vril, a lot of chi, a lot of life force on this beach right here. So I would love for y'all to pray with me. In the name of the Heavenly Father, the Divine Mother, and the King Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Creator God, for creating this beautiful Aina, this beautiful island of Oahu, these beautiful Hawaiian islands, and this beautiful magical realm, North America, Central, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and the surrounding ice ring of Antarctica, and all the other lands that are known and unknown beyond Antarctica, if there's land beyond it, or the land at the North Pole, whatever land is there. Anyways, thank you for this beautiful magical realm and all the dimensions that are within it and this third dimension and everything, the consciousness, the love, the beauty, all of it. And thank you, Divine Mother and Heavenly Father for forming a trinity with the Son, the Christ, the Krishna, coming into a fleshy form as a man, as Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, King Isha, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Love, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Thank you, King Jesus Christ, for being our Savior, for being our Messiah, and being our King, because we need you more than ever right now. This, this world is in a dark, dark place right now, and we're very grateful to have you. And I'm so glad that, that that song, Amazing Grace, I was once blind, but now I see, like, thank you for giving me sight. It's, it is the best gift ever. And this world is just a passing temporary illusion. And the real, the real home is within. And yes, I, I'm grateful to be here on the Aina of Hawaii. But I know eternally my home is with thee and with the mother and the father. And, and Jesus Christ, thank you. And this, this Good Friday is tomorrow. So thank you for it says there's no greater love than he that dies for his friends and so thank you for sacrificing yourself and being the lamb of god to show that life is victorious over death thank you for forgiving us of our sins thank you for just bestowing your mercy upon us thank you for casting out demons from us and clearing the aina clearing land and i ask that if there's any black magic occurring here any voodoo any spells, any curses, any Santeria, any Satanism, Satanic practices, witchcraft, warlockery, any evil. I rebuke it now in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. I rebuke all evil. Satan, I rebuke you. Get off this Aina. Get off Oahu. Get off this beach. Get off this mountain. Everywhere. I rebuke you in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus, for cleaning this place up and sending the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Rosh HaKodesh, the Comforter, the Helper, the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother. If you could be so willing to rain down your ethereal fire of love and light and joy and peace to raise the energy, frequency, and vibration of this Aina, of my brothers and sisters, to just these heavenly feelings, the agape, the divine love, the bliss, the Ananda. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your warring angels to protect this Aina and to protect my brothers and sisters. Thank you for letting truth reign supreme and letting those who seek the truth to be free and letting justice prevail and righteousness take a standhold and helping people discern their morals and know the difference between good and evil, God and devil, what's right and what's wrong. The morals have been blurred and, and, and just thank you for helping us to follow the law, to worship thee with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourself. Thank you so much for just this divine healing, this divine clearing of the Aina from within us inside this bodily temple to my brothers and sisters viewing this right now, to this land right here and to where my brothers and sisters, the land that they're on right now, and that this message inspires them so that we can clean up this bodily temple so that we can clean up the environment that we live in and really begin to rain down the heaven from above down below from within to without 
Thank you so much, King Jesus Christ, Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, for this divine healing. Divine Mother, thou art omnipresent. Thou art everywhere. Manifest thy healing presence in all thy children's bodies. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, King Jesus Christ, Thou art omniscient, Thou art all-knowing. Manifest Thy healing presence in all Thy children's minds. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, King Jesus Christ, Thou art omnipotent, Thou art all-powerful. Manifest Thy healing presence in all Thy children's souls. Divine Mother, may thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of my devotion, and may you help me to awaken thy love in all true hearts. Jesus Christ, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me still love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in forgiving that we are forgiven, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Jesus Christ, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. You maketh me to lie down in green pastures, you leadeth me beside the still waters. You restoreth my soul, you leadeth me down the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Ye, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anointest my head in oil, thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will reside in the house of the Lord forever. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord, that he is my fortress and my refuge, my God, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come by thee. Only with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast placed the Lord, which is thy refuge, even of the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he has cast his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shall trample under feet. Because he has placed his love upon me, I will deliver him. I will send on high, because he has known my name. With long life will I satisfy him, and shew him my salvation. Our Father, who art thou in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the power, glory, and the kingdom of heaven are yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Oh. To any Satanists watching this video, any pedophiles, any black magicians, any warlocks, any just whatever, just realize Jesus Christ loves you and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I hope you realize this sooner rather than later. And the Divine Mother and the Heavenly Father and the King no only love. In the scripture that I used at the beginning saying to whom much is given, much is expected. I heard that yesterday. I've heard it before, but last night I was watching God's Not Dead, the third one. There's three God's Not Dead. Those, those are amazing movies. I recommend all three. And they used that scripture in the third one last night. And, um, and when I heard that, I just felt God speaking to me because God's been really blessing me and I honestly I've, I've been feeling a bit spoiled and just realizing like I need to I need to be a bit more humbled and um, and then I realized like he's given me a lot 
and much is expected of me. And today I thought I was just coming to the beach because I've never spent that much time on the island of Oahu. So I thought I'd just come here and I came to this beach and lo and behold, I'm at Space Force. It's not an accident, y'all. God sent me here today to meditate, to pray, to commune within, and to do these healing prayers and to make this video right now and to post it online. And it is sort of bold to do this. And that's why the scripture says, to whom much is given, much is expected. And so God treats me really well. And when I, when I realize this kind of stuff, I realize I have to do it for the king. I have to do it for the father. I have to do it for the mother. And it's to help inspire y'all too, to help y'all clear energy within you. Cause this clears energy y'all, this casts demons out. This brings the light of God in. And this clears land. I have seen it clear land. I have felt it clear land. So I really hope you y'all y'all are inspired by these healing prayers that we did in Nome and now we're doing on Oahu right here at Space Force and it just feels kind of surreal. <laughs> Even the logo, y'all, you look at the logo. That's the sigil of Lucifer. Go look up sigil of Lucifer and it's a vector. And it's the same vector they use at NASA, which is in Hebrew to deceive. There's no space. Apollo missions are fake. Apollyon from the book of Revelations means the destroyer. Apollo is Greek for sun god. So the Apollo missions is just Lucifer worship. Then there's uh, Helios. Helios is the Roman uh, sun god. Same thing as Apollo. That's where the heliocentric system, um, but really the Bible says it's geocentric, that the earth is the center. Um, and then they tell us the, the, that we're in the solar system. Well, that just comes from Sol Invictus, which is another sun god name, another name for Lucifer. Lucifer. And so um, and so it doesn't surprise me that the vector used on the Apollo missions, used for space force, used as the sigil of Lucifer, they're all, vic they're all vectors. And it's just hidden in plain sight. And we just assume, we just assume that space force is about going to outer space and occupying Mars. That's never gonna happen. Never, it's impossible. You can't, you can't do it. You, can't, you cannot physically go to the moon. As far as I know, it's plasma. I, bet, I don't really know. But all I know is that what we were shown is obviously a Hollywood studio made by Stanley Kubrick, um, the creator of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And so we just got to look through this deception, y'all. And this is the biggest one of all. Like this is the litmus test of like, do you know where you are? Cause I know I'm not on that ball. That picture we were shown in school, I know without a doubt that that is Photoshop. Now, do I know where I really am? Well, I know for a certainty that I'm not on that ball and I'm open to any other possibility, but I'm not open to that because I know that's fake. But most of these people, especially most of them that are drinking the Kool-Aid right now and getting the hokey pokey, they think they're on that ball. They think they're on a globe. And it has no basis in reality. And that's kind of, it's kind of what I call double ignorance because not only do they think they're on a floating ball, but it has no basis in reality with the real science. And when they look at a thing like Space Force, they think it's just outer space military and gonna go to Mars, just kind of like re total recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. and and just all these other movies, these space movies, Star Wars, Star Trek, it's just, it's Hollywood, it's all programming, it's all brainwashing, really. Um, and um, anyways, I pray that Jesus Christ and Divine Mother and Heavenly Father free your mind like they freed my mind. John eight thirty two will always be my favorite scripture. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We shall know the truth of this reality, and it'll make us free. You shall know that that globe is a Photoshop lie. And when you realize that's a Photoshop lie and you embrace it and you just don't fall into cognitive dissonance and just ignore it and go back to Netflix and Facebook and you actually just face the hard truths, because the truth isn't always pretty, y'all. The truth is amazing, but it can be hard pill to swallow. I mean, they call it a red pill, but I know they also have this like black pill thing going on, but it's like, 
man, it's like, it's everything. And um, yeah, that's a big rabbit hole, but it's worth it. There's nothing better than the truth. That's my favorite name for the father It's the truth. It's, that's what God is. God is the truth. There is no untruth in him. God is incapable of lying because God is the truth. And the truth will make us free. God will make us free. The father will make us free. The mother will make us free. The king will make us free. The Trinity will make us free. Anyways, y'all, peace be with you. Happy Good Friday. Happy Easter. Please don't, I recommend, don't get into the whole Ishtar worship of Easter bunnies and eggs and just use it as a day to remember Jesus Christ being tortured and murdered and crucified and then performing the greatest miracle of all time by resurrecting himself and fulfilling the prophecy of Isaiah that life is victorious over death. It's not about bunnies. It's not about Easter eggs. It's about life being victorious over death and that we're supposed to pick up our cross and follow in his footsteps and seek the kingdom of heaven within us by following Psalms 4610, by being still and knowing that I am God, that we are all God with a lowercase g, just like these waves, individual waves are a part of the ocean. Each wave is not like the whole ocean, but you and me are like these individual waves on the ocean of spirit. Anyways, y'all, God bless you. God bless you. Peace be with you. Amen.